Hey guys, welcome to the video for section 4.4, Simplifying Algebraic Expressions Involving Exponents. Here's a list of everything we're going to be doing today. Um, we're just actually going to be skipping right to examples. Okay, so remember when simplifying, you simplify within and then expand. Um, so for this question over here in the numerator, we have x and we have two y's. So we're going to combine the y's and then expand. All right, and then the same thing for the denominator. So y cubed multiplied by y squared gives you y to the power of 5. And you keep the x, you, you multiply them all to the power of 4. So x to the power of negative 4 multiplied by 3 is just negative 12 and 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9. So then we're going to FOIL everything out in the numerator. And so we get x to the power of 4, because x multiplied by 4, and y to the power of 5 multiplied by 4, which is 20. And then um, we keep the denominator the same way. And we're going to use exponent laws to combine the x's in the numerator and the denominator. So x to the power of 4 minus negative 12 and y to the power of 20 minus 9. So here we get x to the power of 16 and y to the power of 11. Okay, so in this particular question, we're given an expression and um, values assigned for y and n. So we simply just have to substitute these values in to make it, to simplify it, All right? So we substitute every y in for negative 5 and every n in for, for 2. And when we start simplifying um, in the numerator, 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3, which equals 7. And uh, it's the, the expressions in the numerator are exactly the same. So it's negative 5 to the power of 7 multiplied by negative 5 to the power of 7. In the denominator, it's 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 7, which equals 3. Um, if we plug that into our calculator, we get this very pretty series of um, expressions over here. And if we simplify that, this is what we get. So this question, you can't clearly see what's the exponent and what isn't, so I just rewrote this over here. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. So basically, if we go and we start simplifying this, um, the way we go about it is we start distributing the powers, right? So 9 to the power of 1 half, a to the power of negative 3 multiplied by 1 half, b to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 half, and the same goes for the denominator, right? So if we do that, we're going to get 9 to the power of 1 half, a to the power of negative 3 over 2, and b to the power of 4 over 2, and that's all over a to the power of negative 7 over 3. Oh, yeah, and a to the power of 1 over 3, and b to the power of 9 over 3. And so 9 to the power of 1 half is just equal to 3 because that's just root 3. And um, b to the power of 4 over 2 is just equal to 2. So if we simplify that, this is what we get. And the same goes for 8 to the power of 1 over 3 because that's just the cube root of 8, which is 2. And um, we simplified four, or sorry, 9 over 3 to get 3 for b to the power of 3. And basically, if we go along um, simplifying this even further, we're going to combine the a's and the b's in the, numerators at, in the numerator and the denominator. So a to the power of negative 3 over 2 minus negative 7 over 3, and then b to the power of 2 minus 3. So if we combine all of this, we get negative 3 over 2, multiplied by a to the power of 5 over 6, um, and that's all multiplied by b to the power of negative 1. So we see a negative number in this expression, and that's a problem because um, by practice we want all positive exponents. And so 
that means we basically bring the b to the bottom to the denominator to make it positive. So that's 3 a to the power of 5 over 6 divided by b. Okay, so um, I guess we have a sneak peek over here for one of the steps um, along the way. But yeah, this is um, an expression involving radicals that we are supposed to simplify. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that radical sign because it's just generally harder to work with. And so we convert it into um, a simple exponent by making the numerator x to the power of 7 over 6 and the denominator x to the power of 4 over 2. And then we multiply all of that um, by the exponent of 5. So um, if we combine the numerator and the denominator to simplify it, we're going to use exponent laws and subtract 7 over 6 minus 2 because 4 over 2 just simplifies to 2, right? So x to the power of 7 over 6 minus 2, and all of that is to the power of 5. And now we're simply just simplifying it. Not simply, just <laughs> simply just simplifying it. And so we get x to the power of 7 over 12 minus 6, all to the power of 5, and um, we get x to the power of negative 5 over 6, all to the power of 5, and that gives us x to the power of negative 25 over 6. Um, because that's a negative, and we need to convert it back into um, radical form, because the question was given to us in radical form, we're firstly going to move the negative sign, and make that positive by moving that entire expression to the denominator. So I guess if you rewrote it just like that, it would be 1 over x to the power of 25 over 6. And then the 25 over 6 gets converted back into radical form by making it the sixth root of x to the power of 25. So, yep, this is um, a little bit of a tricky question, but with some practice, you guys should be able to get the hang of it. So this is a summary of everything we covered in this video. Um, I know this one is a little bit tricky. Please, please, please just get a lot of practice and you guys are going to do amazing. Um, please keep watching all the videos and I, I hope they're helpful.